Oh, Twitch! It's I, uh, Richard Gallows. I'm doing something a little different today. Uh, as you can probably tell by the title, this is um, my <laughs> stream of Gunpla model building. It's a series I'm going to start doing here soon. Uh, hopefully, more and more. Uh, as time goes on, I bought several model kits, and this one was the first one that came in and this is one I've been wanting to do for a while. I kind of started really, really liking the Pale Rider design. I thought it'd be really cool to do. But it's a different version of it than probably what you would think. It's not a high grade or anything like that. It's something a little, a little different. And uh, yeah, pint sized. Yeah, little guy here is the Power Rider Gashapon model kit. And so, I'm going to start putting the little guy together. I've never done a Gashapon model. Uh, I'm going into this completely blind. I mean, I'm going to swap this over so you can actually see. This right here is <laughs> the instructions this is about all you get with it and it is uh, yeah about useless so check that off to the side <laughs> and uh, yeah Let's see what we can get done anyway swap this back where you actually see what I'm doing but anyway See what we got. So there's the core. I don't even know what the hell that is. Okay. There's a little eyepiece. Maybe that one, maybe that's the stand. Because I know this thing has a stand. Okay, so it can go from the Hades system to the basic. That's neat. Huh. Okay. You oh, are the cute little leg. Okay. Set so manipulators on a runner. Put that there. Let's see, there's the backpack. Uh, chest piece, looks like. Oh no, that's for the, uh, that's the missile launchers for the leg unit. Okay. Another leg. Skirt. That looks to be the back cannon. Interesting. Ooh. Drop that. Okay. There's its little gun. Shoulder pieces. Oh no, it doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty simple. Uh, I'm guessing this little bit piece is the barrel for the gun. No, that's the way it's looking. Ooh. Thing is so tiny, I'm afraid I'm going to break it. Bam, it's still pretty cool. Okay. There's the little poly caps. Okay. And there's the shield. And these are the little arms, I'm guessing. So, uh, hmm. Put that there. 
Okay, so I know this big piece. Sprue cutters for this, but I'm not. Okay. These are the. These, for people that don't know, these are sold in Japan in little. vending machines and they um, they're pretty neat I don't know how much they cost in the end but they come in these little tiny capsules I kinda wish they had sent the capsule with them they're pretty neat I bought this off of eBay but they sell these things in little tiny capsules and it's not just Gundam, it's various other things. I know these are pretty popular in Japan. In various places in the world. Oh, please don't break. That would be so sad. Okay. Let's pop that in. Huh. That's pretty neat. Anyway, alright. So. Alright, so I probably should pop the legs on first. Make it a little easier on myself, but. Who said I had to do anything easy in my life? It doesn't really retain too well. <laughs> do that, you can't really see it. This little model may not take as long as I thought. Ah! Okay. Set that down there, like that. Stands like he's got a stick up his ass. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So, what next? I guess the little missile pods. It's more lot. Edge this over a little closer. It's like jaws over here. Okay, anyway, I can see a little better now. Sort of seeing blind by corn here in a moment. Okay, I'm guessing this one goes over here. Okay. You're just going to be a pain in the dick, aren't you? Okay. That one back on. Okay. So I have that one. It didn't uh, look kind of neat so far. Where you can look at him. Okay. 
So there's that. So now what? Uh, this one runner. Okay. I'll put his backpack on. So cute and menacing. Okay. Why shouldn't it have the stick up rectum look? Okay. Put that on last. Let's see. this is. So according to this, these go in the side of the torso. Just like this. Damn it. These things don't go together too well. Not as well as a usual high grade or a master grade or something of that nature. Give me just a second. Okay. Oh, that is painful. Hmm. Trying to think of having a tool that I can use to push this in with. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't have a full range of tools in here. Uh, let's see. Give me just a moment, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Alright. Sprue cutters. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to make this hole just a touch bigger. This is not exactly enough. But I don't want it to be. cap here. Try to use it as a thimble of sorts. Now this will work, but we're going to try and see. Here we design this did not have American sized hands. And also has an extremely high pain tolerance. Okay. Both legs. You go over there. Not to self here. Do another gash upon. Holy mother of God. Slight modification might be in order. Ow. <clears throat> Fuck. Okay. This is starting to be one of the worst model kits I've ever done.
almost, almost, almost. that differentiates these between normal model kits is there's no pop so you don't know if you've got it in or not and it's sucks okay if that ever pops out I'm just gonna burn the kit just burn it okay should make this considerably easier to put on I hope question is how they expect little kids to do this. Ah! Yes! Yes! We have done it! We have got one arm on! Ah! Jesus. Some definite trials and tribulations right there. Okay. Let's join out a little bit. trick of this is going to be putting this together without knocking the other one out. Then again, all my luck, all would react poorly to this and destroy it. And I'd be so beyond pissed. This would be a quick model kit. No, oh, I was right.
hands are getting too sweaty. so much force just to even get these in. Don't you dare pop out. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I think we got it. I think it's done. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, anyway, so there's that. There it is so far. Okay. Now. According to this, we'll be 
readjust this a little bit. So you can kind of see a little more what I'm doing. Okay, so... Okay, one of these will go up this way. I'll use my spring cutters this time. Cut it a little more cleanly, hopefully. Okay. There's that one. And there's this one. Now I'm starting to see why people don't do gas on models all that much on YouTube and Twitch. Massive pain in the dick. Okay. So I'm going to put this one. Oh, don't tell me this is going to be as much of a pain as this. But I'm guessing it is. It's looking and acting. his legs back off. Not so, if you ever do another gas upon the end. Assemble the parts visually. Prior to full assembly. That's almost the end. possible so it doesn't pop out. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I think we got it. Yes, we got it. Awesome. Okay. So this will go into okay. 
Let's just go ahead and get this other one in. Okay, get this other one started. At least that was a little easier than the rounded parts. Ah, you son of a bitch! Never had so much trouble in my life putting together a model. I put together a perfect grade Wing Zero custom, and it wasn't this bad. Okay, let's turn this this way. See if that helps. Get the torso out of the way. Oh, I think we got it. Sweetness. Okay, so there's that part. By a stroke of luck, the rest of it hasn't popped out. Cool. Awesome. Now here's the fun part. I'm trying to get these pieces to go in. Oh, sorry, I can't see my chat. Uh, Yamakaze, yes, Gashapons. Yeah. This is actually my first uh, Gashapon model that I've put together so far, and uh, yeah, I'm not really digging it all that much. It's a little bit of a pain in the dick. Like I said, I've put together a Wing Zero custom uh, perfect grade before. And it was not nearly this bad. Yeah. I still like it. I mean, it's going to be neat when it's together. I'm, I keep telling myself the end product be worth it. Worth it. Uh, God, I've done several. Uh, my first kit was a... Uh, Shenlong high grade. I did that when I was little. No, the, uh, I mean, I've done a Wing Zero Custom. I've done all the Wing Zero Custom kits as far as, like, the grades. I've done a high grade, I've done a master grade, and I've done a perfect grade. Me and my friend Leo, we spent about 12 hours one day building a perfect grade Wing Zero Custom kit, and it was, it took forever I mean, it took forever, dude. But it was, it was nice. It was well worth it. I'll have to, I've still got it at his house. I need to bring it home and actually get it in a display case. I'm actually going to start doing, um, more Gunpla streams here soon. Uh, Shenlong, and how many kits have you been building? Uh, actually, this is my first kit that I've done in, God, when did we build that perfect grade? Because that perfect grade was the last kit that I did. That was almost like two years ago. Yeah, I've done, uh, I've done Shenlong, I've done... Most versions of the Wing Zero. Then I've got a Death Scythe uh, Master Grade. I've got a Easy Eight Master Grade. I have to get all my kits out of storage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that perfect grade, dude. That uh, that thing kicked my butt. I mean, me and Leo spent. 
full day on that thing. We worked a full 12 hours on it. Fortunately, I was able to get it cheap enough because, my God, that thing. I don't know if I'll ever do another perfect grade again. God, I'd like to, but... Whew, that, that was an undertaking. That will, that will take more than one stream to do. Let's see. Let's see what I can get done with this now. Okay. So, look at my little picture here. Okay, so it looks like the little piece is going to go in here. Yeah, I'm sticking with the high grades for a little while. I've got a... I've gotten some kind of the more out there kind of stuff because I want to do interesting things. Everybody's done a... Anybody that's ever done a Twitch stream or YouTube video will have done a Wing Zero, a Death Scythe, a Strike, something like that. I want to... I'm going to be doing a Blue Destiny Unit 1. I've got one of those. It's the exam system version that just released a little while back. I've got a full armor 7th Gundam that I'm going to be doing. Let's see, I've got the Sniper Custom K9 that I'm going to be doing. Then I've got a Forever Gundam that I'm going to be doing here soon. As well as the White Glint uh, SD. Um, Armor Core kit. I've never done an Armor Core. Yeah. I mean, I, I enjoy Master Grades. But the thing is about Master Grades, the unfortunate thing is about Master Grades, they generally don't do a Master Grade unless it's a well-established Hit. I mean, there, there's not really a lot of off-the-wall stuff. They generally do that in, like, the high grades. That's the only reason why I'm not really doing any master grades right now. Now, some of the cooler master grades I will probably do here soon. I need to do a uh, ground combat master grade here soon to go with my Easy 8. Sure, yeah, go ahead, brother. I don't mind. I like seeing other people's kids. Alright. Just only a few, I say. How's this little guy gonna go in? I guess kind of like this, I suppose. So that's the way it's looking from the picture. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, only thing I'm gonna be really doing is kind of panel lining and things. Yeah, you can send it through my uh, PSN ID if you'd like. I've got my phone right here where I can actually look it up. Let's see. I'm trying to make sure I'm not going to mess this up. Ooh, I was about to, I think. That's my PSN ID.
Okay. So. I get it. This goes this way. Okay, cool. Started. We'll do like we did a minute ago. My hands are just way too big for this. Ah, oh, balls. extra room. I'm going to set my hands. Okay. Okay. So the left hand is the one with the shield. I'm guessing that would be this one. Okay, we want to set that like that. Get there. Okay. That is going to go like that. That will go there. Okay. This is not something I see myself swapping the hands out on a lot. Okay, so it is going to go like this. Settings blocking your PM. You can just add me as a friend on there, I don't mind. Second, I got your friend request. Okay, cool. Yeah, if you want to send me those pictures, feel free. in. 
Let's see what you got. Ah, so I see some Veritex in there. Sandrock Custom, the Zeta. It's one of the Bill Fighter Wing Zeros. It's one from Age. It's on the right. Oh, there's your, uh, oh, what is that thing? I can't remember what it is. The thing that uh, succeeded the uh, Hayaku Shiki. Those are really cool, man. Look really good, too. Let me get some pictures of my old kids. Start posting them up on my uh, page. Delta Plus, yes, that's it. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, maybe it goes down here. Doesn't really act like it wants to fit though. Okay, so that'd be sitting that way. So that needs to face outward. Oh, there we go, we have it. Oh, thought I did. That's not it, because the thumb would be pointing in the wrong direction if it was. Yeah, that was always one of the things I enjoyed about the Gundam series. You can find that one gun Gundam that you enjoy, you can build a model of it, and more than likely if you like it well enough, you can find it on a game and use it. My uh, my friend Leo, that was one of the reasons why he liked Encounters in Space so much. Because one of his favorites is GP04. And GP04, then he liked the side story that was in that that had a G0, uh, G05 and G04. Those prototype suits. He really enjoyed that. And he's built, he's either got or he's built the GP04 model. And he's been able to play games with it in it. So that's one of the things about Gundam that I really enjoy. Just one of the things that always made it near and dear to my heart anyway. I was able to play stuff that I enjoyed. Ah, you know the differences. No, he's got a the actual model kit, it's a master grade of GP04. The actual, the one that should have been made with the prototype. Instead of the Gibera Tetra, which Sima Gama, Sima Gata how piloted in Stardust Memory. And yes, he does have the Gibera Tetra as well. He actually did a pretty cool paint job on it. It was. When he purchased it, when he purchased the Gabara Tetra, it was a model kit that was already done. He kind of saved it. 
because what had happened to it, somebody had got it, didn't know what they were doing. And had just totally demolished the thing. So he went and rebuilt it. Painted and everything. It's really cool. I wish he was awake right now so I could get him to send me a picture of it because he actually did a really good job with it. He's the one I send my stuff to to get it detailed and things like that. Yeah, the GP04 looks like a Gundam, but it's actual. It was just a prototype at that stage. Then the Xeon stole the prototype blueprints and made it their own. I think it's ugly as hell, but I still like it. Just because I like Stardust Memory so well. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Uh, the the Gabara Tetra showed up in Stardust Memory. Uh, remember the female Xeon pilot that's... Uh, the female Xeon pilot. She piloted a Gelga Marine Custom. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she piloted a Gelga Marine Custom. Then later she got Gibera, the Gabara Tetra, which is the Xeon version of a GP04. do a stream of uh yes yes yeah it would have taken place between the one year war and stardust wish I had a pair of needle nose pliers this would be a lot easier I don't want to use my side cutters hmm yeah, get enough angle on it without popping this up get it to go together Okay, so there's that. Alright. Yamakaze, I know you're not from where I'm at are the uh, how available are Gundam kits over there I mean is it a popular thing or is it just kind of more niche than it is here a redneck if you use bubble wrap to put together your gun to model kids. Really? Yeah, it's it's kind of popular here. I mean, it's more of kind of like a, a cult thing here. Minimal to moderate. That's it's more moderate here. I'm not going to really divulge where I live, but I the exact place where I live. I live in the southern United States, as you can probably tell from my accent. So, anime and anything like that isn't really super popular here. And, so I mean, it's kind of, kind of niche here. I mean, 
you say Gundam to anybody who likes anime here, they'll know what it is. But yeah, see, oh, excuse me, malls don't really carry them here now. Now our our stores here used to, like WalMarts and things like that, used to carry the Gundam model kits. But that was back in the early 2000s, uh, late 90s. But now it's only a handful of stores carry the model kits now. Like the nearest store that actually carries them to me is about a good hour away. Unless I order them off of like Amazon or eBay or something like that, they're not readily available to me. Like this kit here, this devilish thing, I ordered on eBay. It gave like six bucks. I can start. I'm starting to see why it's six bucks. I mean that's that's kind of cool. It's growing in your area though. Like Gundam here kind of blew up, then it just kind of petered out. I mean I I built the kits uh, a lot when they were readily available here, but now they're not not quite so much. Let me see if I can get this in. Oh, my poor thumb. <laughs> oh, no, it didn't go in. Blimey. Yeah, yeah. The internet has done wonders to get gun into various parts of the world. I mean, because back in the day, the only thing that you really had Gundam related was Cartoon Network, and that didn't really last as long as it should have, I think. Especially after 9-11 happened here, man. I think anything war related just kind of fell off. Like I, I never thought about it till the other day. My buddy uh, Leo was telling me, "Yeah, that's what started here first was Wing." My buddy Leo was telling me Cartoon Network they used to have uh, Mobile Suit Gundam the original. Then. It was getting through the series, and he said all of a sudden when 9 11 happened, it just stopped. There was nothing. Of course, I, me growing up, I didn't have satellite or cable TV, so I didn't really know. The only time I could catch Gundam was when I went to my grandmother's and stayed while my mother did shopping and such. That was the only time I was really able to really watch Gundam until I got much older. But yeah, here it was. It was Gundam Wing, then it was, um, yeah, seemed like it was G Gundam after that. Then what else was there? We didn't really have much else besides that. It was uh, Gundam Wing, G Gundam, then Mobile Suit Gundam, I think. So there's one more that was released here that I can't remember. I don't know. There once in a while you got the movies. Like, I remember seeing the Gundam Wing Endless Waltz pop up a lot when I was a kid. I mean, that's that's the one that really got me into Gundam. Because, I mean, Gundam Wing... The basic one was... Eh, so-so. Wait, y'all got Gundam X? Man, that sucks. We never... We never it never hit over here. Like, it never got on Cartoon Network or anything over here. Like, I've never seen Gundam X. I really want to. I really like the side, the design of Gundam X. Except I can't get over the uh, new type dolphins. That was... That was 
one thing that I could never get over. It's like, guys, you really start running out of ideas when you start going with new type dolphins. Oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, 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 that's what, what else we got. We got Gundam C there for a while. I don't... We got Gundam C, then we got Gundam Double O. But we never got Gundam X. We never got... Let's see. But the ones we got, we got Gundam Wing. Um, G Gundam. Then if you stayed up late at night, you got... 0080, 0083, 08MS, then what else after that? I know we got C, that got showed on standard television. Butcher did all the hell, like Cartoon Network always did, because for some reason here in the States, anything that is mildly offensive, people just go batshit over. Oh my god. We are the melting pot of the world, but everybody has just, you have to be so politically correct here. You say or do anything here that offends anybody, and it's horrible. Like, if you show any form of blood or anything like that, like, there's a scene that's cut out of 0080 that a dude dies by getting shot, I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty, it's graphic, but it's not that bad, not anything worse than kind of stuff that you would see on like Adult Swim or something. The, the original Gundam was actually aired here in the, during daytime. And it just, they would just edit the piss out of it. I mean, that's like Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z was aired here. And they edited the hell out of it. Yeah. Unfortunately for me, I wasn't able to watch Gundam Wing, or not Gundam Wing, sorry. The original Mobile Suit Gundam until recently. I'm actually currently watching it. I managed to buy the complete set of it. Got it for a pretty good price, so I was able to actually be able to sit and watch it. And I can see why it's such a revolutionary anime now. I mean, especially the war as hell dynamic of it. There's people that die left or right. I mean, it was like the Game of Thrones of the anime world back in the day. I mean, Ryu winds up dying. Uh, like A lot of main characters died a lot in that. I think that's something I kind of like about it. Because it kind of pushed boundaries, especially back then. Because the first episode that you see, their Frau, uh, Frau Bo loses her mother. A bunch of people, I mean, just randomly get blown up as a run to safety. And it's, it's amazing that back then they done something like that I mean you're talking about Japan I mean this is not even magazine or Z I need to sit and watch that but you're talking see double 79 you're talking a little over 30 years after the war and people are Japan is still getting over it and they know the wounds are still fresh and they're showing war as hell. And the original Mobile Suit Gundam is kind of a retelling of World War II in some ways. And another thing that I like about the original Mobile Suit Gundam, they show the bad guys, the technical bad guys, as in some ways more human than what the good guys are. Some of the good guys are fucking assholes. I mean, it just, for back in the day, it just turns everything up on its head. And it's so neat. I 
I need to sit down. I really need to sit down and watch Magazine or Z. Oh, come the hell on. I've been fighting with this one piece for a while now. Alright, I've been sitting and talking a decent bit of it, but... Okay. Ah. <sighs> Finally got it. Okay, now we're gonna pop this in. Right like so. Tilt you up. Okay. So there's that. Start putting the hands in. So, to everybody in the chat, what was the first Gundam series you ever watched? I can see there's more than just one of you out there. I see there's more than just Yamikaze. Yamikaze, you said yours was Wing. Mine was Wing, but how about everybody else in the stream? First gun to be aired here in our country via local TV network. Really? What actually got you in the wing? Just curious. Was it the giant robots or was it the story? Maybe it was the giant robots. I loved Transformers and Voltron as a kid and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This is such a pain in the dick. Go in! Do it! Do it now! Come on! Do it! You son of a bitch! It's not Gundam I got into, it's Tomcat F-16. Really? Hmm. That's an anime of some sort? I don't believe I've ever heard of that one. For the love of Pete. Trying to get this last hand in here. First talk in the Macross, then there was Wing. Nice. So you have a thing for fighter planes then? I remember watching Macross a little bit when I was a kid. I uh, never really had a chance to sit down and watch it when I was a kid. Now I've watched all the first season, the one that don't get mad, but the one that really matters. <laughs> Everything else is, uh... Yeah. Like, the second season, I've seen a little bit of it. The 
that's the one with Max and Miria, I think's her name. The one with their kid. Then uh, the third season is the one with the Invid, if I remember correctly. And that one's just, that one's trippy as balls, dude. Okay, I think I got it. Think I got it. Think I got it. Think I got it. Oh, yes. Okay. So there's that. Oh no! Okay. That back on there. I'll go in the hole. Story of my life. I'll go in there. Okay, I think I got it. Here's that one. Oh my freaking god. Okay, you go on there. Okay. Thank the gods I'm almost done with this thing. No! Hands trying to come out. is part of this whole thing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There's the gun. I wonder how you're supposed to get the exam thing in here. Face piece come out or something? Oh, that, yeah, it does. Face piece that retains it comes out. Oh, that's neat. Well, face piece slides out and you can swap the lenses. Well, isn't that just adorable? Okay. Some bottom piece is going to come out. I'm not really going to worry about that. Uh, actually, I need to look at the lore. Because I'm not 100% sure. But if I remember correctly, it starts out as a... Well, of course, it starts out as a Federation suit. Because um, it, it does have the RX series underneath underneath it but it winds up getting captured remodeled and it is used by the side of Zeon helps whenever you put it on the correct way Richter
Wish I got in the high grade now. Although when I do get the high grade, it's gonna look pretty cool sitting under it. <laughs> I can't win for losing with this thing. Okay. You go there. Thank you. It's going to go on the back side. Okay, so this is going to go like that. And I know the original version does not have the gun poking up to the top. Gum tack it! Yeah, I need to do something with it. My God, these things are extremely hard to get in. They pop off really freaking easy. Let's see. Hang on just a second. Let me see what you what else you said. Uh, da, da, da. All I have is that small clip in a game, I think. Yeah, that's all I really know about it. My buddy Leo's got all of Missing Link, but or has the Missing Link game for PS3. However, it is all in Japanese and not released in English, so therefore, if it was released in English, I would play it. Let's see. Uh, da -da -da. And my pot going crazy because of the Hades system. Yeah, I think so as well, because the Hades system is an upgraded version of the exam system. So, um, and the exam system really messed with the pilot. I need to sit and read the manga, but yeah, uh, if I remember correctly, that's what it does. I've got the Sega Saturn games, but of course they're in, they are in uh, Japanese, so I don't know what the hell's going on. It is fun to play, though. Hello, Danny. How are you doing, buddy? Good to see you on the stream. But, yeah. Put that back over there. Yeah. Yeah, I really need to... <laughs> if I do another Gashapon, uh, I am most definitely going to do it a little differently because my god, this thing is a pain in the dick. Like, I'm going to get some actual tools to where I can... <laughs> where I can actually do these things a little more efficiently. Like, I need a little knife or something to kind of make the joints bigger and do, as you said, and make a because I'm not really planning on posing these all that much, so I'll use some little bit of a, a little bit of a glue or something to put these things together. But yeah, almost done. Need to put it on the stand. Like, like so. Yeah, I'd be curious to. I'd be curious to know as well. What did you start with, Danny? First series. But yeah, uh, here it is complete. All in all, it's it's really neat for it being as miniaturized as it is. 
Let me adjust my endless waltz. That's an excellent start. Let me do something real quick. Adjust my focus. Just a little. But yeah. Pretty cool little guy. Not sure I'm gonna do another gas upon, but yeah. Pretty freaking sweet. The Toonami days, yes, yes. That's the one that really really got me into it. That's the one that made me really start enjoying the whole Gundam thing. It was pretty cool because uh she's gonna kill me because I know she's in the stream right now, but my girlfriend she was like yeah, I don't really like Gundam all that much. <laughs> so what I did, I told her, I was like, Ah, you haven't seen the correct one yet. Once, you haven't seen one that'll get you into it. Because I think she watched a little bit of Wing back in the day and such. Just didn't like it. So we sat down on the couch and everything. And I was like, okay, out of all the Gundam that I own, I'm going to give you two. That was uh, 08th MS Team and 0083. I was like, you pick your poison. Whichever one looks interesting to you. She's like, I don't really want to watch one of them. It's like, come on. Let's let's watch a little. Let's branch out some. So she's like, okay. She hands me 08th MS Team. It's like, let's watch this one. So we're sitting down on the couch and everything. Start watching it. Watch the first couple episodes. It's like, okay. What do you think of it so far? I mean, do you like it? Do you think you want to watch any more of it? Because if, if not, I won't make you watch any more. You did what I asked and watch a little bit. Watch just a little bit of it. It's like, I kind of like it. It's like, oh, so you see yourself watching any more of it. So what she winds up doing, uh, she's like, yeah, I, I, I kind of watch a little bit. I want to watch a little bit more. See, see how it goes. It's like, okay, cool. We'll watch a little bit more of it next week. So she winds up going home, wind up meeting the next week and start hanging out. And she, uh, we watched the rest of the first disc to the 8th MS. She, <laughs> she, uh, she's like, can we watch the next one? She's like, oh, really? So now you're starting to get hooked on it a little bit, are you? She's like, yeah. Didn't help was watching and building one little bear guy. Models first, her first model kit. She's she enjoyed doing that. She's actually got it set up on her dresser. And so we watched the rest of the first disc. Then we watched the second one. She's like, Go watch some more. And yeah, I just received a text from her just a second ago, and she's like, You bastard, because I gave away her a secret, but yeah. So her first is 8th MS Team. And it was so cute. But yeah. The little... The little Pale Rider is complete. It is done. It has been a massive pain in my ass. I'm going to knock him over. Knock some more parts off of it. Yeah, indeed, I got her hooked. Give me just a second, I'll zoom in a little closer. I've actually got two different cameras, and one of them does not have as good video quality as the other. But what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to zoom this one in a little bit. Uh, camera control. So you can actually see... A little bit more what it looks like. I mean, all in all, it's a pretty cool little guy. Ah, balls, I didn't save it. But anyway, it's more how it looks. But yeah, that's pretty well all I'm going to do on this.
we want to call it call the stream what time is it here oh crap it's 5 30 in the morning well i won't call the stream here for right now uh, yes i agree the head design is really neat for the pale rider my buddy leo doesn't really like it all that much but uh well this uh danny this is not an sd this is a gashapon uh it's the little capsules that you get from japan i ordered it on ebay thinking it'd be pretty cool to put together and while it is cool to put together it is a major pain in the dick give me just a minute i'll show you what an actual sd model looks like Oh, I'm going here for a second. Whoop. This is uh, the actual SD model line. I mean, even if it, even with it being the SD model, can't quite get it to line up. But I mean, you can see the difference in between them. the The basic SD actual official model dwarfs the Gaspon. That's the actual difference. And of these, I, of the SD, I've done the Unicorn, I've done the Stray Red Frame, uh, the, the, what is that? It's not the, not the Proto Zero, it's the alternate version of the Endless, uh, of the Wing Zero Custom, the Endless Walls version. I've done that one, I've done uh, the Exia, I've done the Double O, Seven Sword. Then I've done the GP03 Dendrobum Stamen as well. But yeah, that kind of gives you a little bit uh, of a sense of scale with the little guy. Like I say, I have most of my models in storage. Most of my, most of my gun models and action figures are actually in storage. Double O eighty three actually has a pretty decent love story in it. Uh, although it's been a little while, I remember Nina Purpleton and Ko Uraki kind of being a thing, and that was actually pretty good. I like I like the little love triangle between Ko, Nina, and Gato. It was kind of neat. That's actually the next one we'll show my girlfriend. All the rest of them don't really have... Well, Zeta does until 4 dies. We'll spoil that one. But... Then, let's see... Well, yeah, G Gundam has a really good one. The one between Domo and Kashu and Rain Mikamura. That's actually that one's actually kind of sweet. Cause that fucking Domo goes through immortal hell to get Rain back. Better set another series for your girlfriend. You know what I mean. Danny, I've never never thought about doing an Shenlong SD. That'd actually be kind of cool. An Otaku SD would be really awesome. Along with the, uh, the dragons on each wrist. That would be really awesome. I'd like to do some more of the SD series. 
The cool thing about the SD series is they're really cheap. I mean, nobody really spends a whole lot spends a whole lot on them. They're not super popular, and they go by pretty quick. I mean, I can build one in probably about an hour and a half, two hours, and be perfectly satisfied and happy. They they are a good quick kit, and they look good. I mean, this one. This is mostly decals. I have not done any panel lining or anything on it, and they go together relatively well. They're really simple. The detail work on them is really good. I mean, for being a kit like that they are. Yeah. Uh, like I say, I'm I'm gonna start putting together start putting together a few different kinds of models here soon I need to do I have yet to do a Zaku I've never done a Zaku in my life there's a master grade at one of the stores around here for like 40 bucks and it's a, the uh, MO, MO6R uh, the black TriStar variant looks really nice I want to do it I want to do a Zaku of some sort. I've never done a Zaku. I've never done a GM. I know it's sacrilege in the uh, Gundam community to never, never done some main mass-produced suits. But I mean, I just never got around to them. I kind of want to do the high-grade uh, Zaku C and C5. It's a really good kit, from what I've seen on YouTube. I've uh, can't remember what his name is but I watched him for some model kit reviews and he said the Zaku the new Zaku high grade C5 and C type is really good that's the one from Mobile Suit Gundam Origin yeah yeah that's that's one of the things I'm going to wind up doing here soon is a standard Zaku. But I I really like the look of the Black TriStar version of their high mobility type. So I may wind up doing a Master Grade version, master grade version of it. Sorry, words are hard. I would like to do a Goof Custom. Uh, the Goof Custom is actually one of my favorites that I've ever, ever seen. I really like... The design of the Goof Custom. Plus, Norris was a total fucking badass. Yeah, she hasn't. <laughs> the girlfriend hasn't gotten to the part where Norris and Shiro fought the Easy Eight versus the Goof Custom. That is such a cool fight. You already know Shiro's a hell of a pilot, but you really, you really get to see how good of a pilot he is when he is up against a more experienced pilot than him. Because Norris is just a total... God. Norris is such a badass. And the way that Shiro gets out of fighting that is great. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to call it for right now. I may be back on with some a little bit of video game time here in a little bit. I don't know. Uh, if not, I'll be back on tomorrow night. I may start doing some more Gunpla tomorrow night. Seems people are enjoying it. I've seen up to five watching at one point on this. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing I like about 08 is that it's a lot more realistic. It brings it more to real life than a lot of the rest of it. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like what you've seen, uh, please click follow if you're watching on Twitch currently. Every little bit helps. I greatly appreciate it. If you are currently watching this on YouTube, which I will be uploading this here in a little while, uh, click subscribe for future videos. You'll be seeing me doing more Gunpla videos here soon. Uh, like the video that helps tremendously and just overall <laughs> if you enjoy anything that you see click like whatever uh if you'd like to know 
more of my schedule, information about what I'm doing. Click the Facebook or go to the Facebook page. I have a button down below for it. I post various news, gaming news, gun related stuff on there on Facebook. Also on Twitter. I'm a lot more active on Twitter just for the Retro Gallows page. It's a lot easier for me. Uh, there's a button down below for it. Click it. Give me a follow there. Uh, like I said, I'm a lot more active there. It helps tremendously. I can give you more news. And a lot more funny stuff I can retweet on there. Also, if you like, donations are not required. Don't ever feel that you have to donate to the stream. But if you donate any at all, it is greatly appreciated. It will go towards things like this. Interesting stuff. I am a creature of originality. I don't like doing things that everybody else does. That's the reason why I did a gas upon <laughs> for the first time in my life on stream because I know nobody's ever done it. Well, not nobody, but it's more rare. But, yeah, anyway, thanks guys. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, all that good groovy stuff. And as always, take it easy.